It's a cold day, y'all. What a pressure thing. Because I lost mine somehow. I don't even know how. And uh, I was at family farm at home. We're about to go to a truck stop and air up our tires. Always check that pressure. Be running you out of money. And wearing those tires down. So, yeah. Let's get going. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Just in my boots in here. I kind of gave up on keeping this floor clean, to be completely honest with you. This works. You just now, when it's cold, I'm probably going to keep this section clean. No shoes past this point. You know, put like some kind of carpet in here. That would make it easy. It just, it's kind of a pain in the rear, to be honest. And. I don't know, I don't really care too much to be honest with you. If you haven't seen this thing, uh, this thing is legit, this thing slaps. We got a 12 inch kicker in there. Let's see, some bass music. Let's try to find something that's got no copyright to turn this thing on. All right, so I did manage to find something that says it's copyright free. So, uh, let's see. Bass is about 60% up. Turn up the volume. Not absurd loud, but it definitely got some bass. It's definitely close to the seat, but I bolted it. And then there's this knob. But yeah, I guess uh, you get the idea, huh? Let's set this thing down for a second. Put that thing back. Yeah, as you can tell, where's my little light? Let's see. Got my uh, MS-03 flashlight. This thing is bright. They sent me this uh, thing out for free. It's pretty legit, it's from Immolent. But yeah, as you can tell, like that is not a lot of room at all. That's like three fourths, maybe half inch. I don't think it's touching, but I will be moving the seat forward, however. So I'll get done. But yeah, it definitely sounds good in here. Definitely changes things up. It like gives the sound like three dimensional sound, if that makes sense. Like if you ever listen to music just by these speakers, he's like. I forgot what these are called, but I think they're like mids and lows. They're like all in one, if, if if you know what I mean. They're not like separate bass and tweeters. If you ever listen to music just on these, and then you added a subwoofer, you noticed what you were missing. It's like one of those things where you don't realize you need it until you get it, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, just post up here at a truck stop. This is where I'm gonna fuel, so I stopped. We're gonna be airing up our tires like i said we need to add about 5 10 psi to front ones because i've been running them low i've been running them all around like 100 psi but i think i need to front need to add like 105 110 to my steers let me know in the comments what do you run in terms of psi and then uh one thing this light here man like check this light out like like this thing is bright bought this thing on amazon this like uh that's the brand in case you're looking at it on amazon so i installed one there 
and I installed one right up here just because I hate the yellow lights in here and then uh, in case you haven't seen this I installed this this is supposed to flip down but I made it too big I need a I don't even know what I was saying to be honest I think I was talking about the lights pretty legit and then we were talking about this added this just so I can throw stuff up there and doesn't fall off when I'm driving uh, it works good but unfortunately it supports my hoarder habits and then I just throw even more stuff up there because I'm like hey I can fit that stuff up on the top bunk it just it's not good and then down here I gotta install my diesel heater but as I was saying like this line is pretty legit to my understanding flexzilla is pretty solid hose for like compressors and stuff and then this is what we bought earlier but yeah uh, my diesel heater let's open the bed so yeah you can see a daylight right here this is like a whole mess uh, what I'm gonna do in this section right here is close the floor off obviously and then I'm gonna insulate the whole thing with those uh, boards from Home Depot and this thing I don't even use it so it's gonna get blocked off as well uh, coolant is cut off to it there's no power to it there's no freon to it nothing so I don't know I might even see if I could just sell this thing and get it out of here to be honest but it looks just like a hassle to get it out so I really don't care much uh, but yeah it's kind of a mess under here this right here is my DeWalt DeWalt uh, awesome little uh, storage thing that I got uh, it's stackable I have another one right here and then there's just like my microwave and then uh, another fire extinguisher and then towels and then this is where my uh, diesel heater is actually gonna sit right in this section right here I bought a metal plate I gotta peel off the floor and put a metal plate and then here I'm gonna build out of wood like a little fence essentially so nothing goes on the heater and then it's just gonna run off right here so yeah that's gonna work out uh, yeah these trucks are terribly insulated I thought about blocking off this section completely because there's a door in there but I don't know I kind of gave up on it to be completely honest with you uh, so it is what it is uh, yeah that's the plan as you can see I like try to stick on some of this stuff up here it just doesn't work it comes off uh, but yeah all right let's throw this thing down and then we're gonna go do our tires air up and uh, get to driving so just in case you've never seen this before you just connect it just like this this is your trailer airline and then you just release your trailer brake and then that just gives you air and then you have your line and you just air up your tires my freaking uh, I don't know if you can see see that grease right there yeah, those bolts on the side, they're leaking, and I couldn't get seals at Freightliner. So, I need to do that. I think I'm going to do that this weekend when I do the oil change. Because it throws oil on my tanks. And that's the only spot it leaks, up, leaks at, so hopefully fix that. But yeah, let's air up these tires and get going. So, since I was at this already... I figured I'd replace this handle because this old one was pretty busted and worn out. And one thing I learned is I thought these were just for colors. All right there. But these are actually different. See this little notch right here? This. The red one doesn't have it. And the reason that is is so you don't mistakenly put them on the wrong side. Also, this stuff is awesome thread sealing liquid stuff always use it and if you're looking for an adjustable wrench i highly highly recommend this milwaukee this thing is awesome and it does not back off on impact let's replace this and go stay warm okay installed that one i gotta replace this also what happened is one time i forgot to disconnect and pull forward and well you guess the rest uh, whenever i install new pieces just lubricate them a little bit so it goes on there easier someone might not like this but it helps let's throw this on and 
put this away and get going. Favorite one is to subscribe, like if you haven't.